when can I combine Salah? Only during travel portion or while I am away? Out of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, he made it easy for the traveler by allowing the traveler to break his fast and also allowed the traveler to shorten the prayer as it came in Hadith Aisha radiallahu anha wa ardaha that a salah started as two rakahs then after that it was approved to stay two for the traveler and to be complete to four mean dhuhr and asr and isha for the residents so for the traveler they are allowed to shorten the prayer and they are allowed to combine between the prayers as well but also would like you to rem remember that combined between prayers is not only restricted to the traveler as the strongest opinion among the ulama that uh, you can join prayers together uh, for a need like uh, uh, storms or, uh, or heavy rain or uh, snowstorms or big time of fear uh, war uh, these are basically uh, scenarios where it is allowed for the person to combine between prayers. So combining between prayers, even sometimes when a person is in a hardship, cannot actually pray on time. Let's say a person doing a surgery, taking an exam, you know, a police officers or somebody work on the border, uh, people or nurse, people like this or teachers, he cannot leave the, the, the class uh, those people will say, you know what, will be allowed for them to pray Dhuhr and Asr Mar Isha as not as it's not regulated, uh, uh, be became the norm. And uh, the proof for that, uh, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu ardaf al-Bukhari and others, that uh, he said that the Nabi sallallahu combined between the prayers and Ibn Abbas was asked, why did he do that? It, it was not for fear, for rain, for anything like that. He said because he want to make it easy for his ummah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the answer for this, yes, for the traveler, the majority of the fuqah Allah allowed for the traveler to combine between prayers. The only one with the Hanafi allowed it only in the day of Arafah. Uh, but they said for the traveler, he could do Jim Suri, which is he pray Dhuhr by the end of the time and, and Asr in the beginning of the time. But there is plenty of a hadith wherein Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam proven that he used to combine between prayers when he's traveling. Like Ibn Umar radiallahu anh reported in Sahih, he said that the Nabi Sallallahu used to combine between Dhuhr and Asr and Maghrib and Isha while he is traveling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like the videos so that you can get notified of the new releases and consider donating to this worthy cause.